So here we are, Ahsoka Season 1 region. Yep, all episodes are fine, came out finally, I want to find all the episodes. It's probably one wide review episode by episode week to week. I said, you know what, fuck it, that you've been testing it all at once. Mud because I don't want to wait that much time, and because, well, this one will be easy for me, I think the content that will be easier. Instead of me reviewing every single episode all at once. Well, every single review every single week to week. So, yeah, here we are. So yeah, let's get the first shot. So I know. Hey, I'm gonna test my I'm gonna show this season one. Um, after one doing it, after one doing it, yeah, okay, then we'll find the show show. And what it was the hype? What it was about the all the hype about the all the time? Will this show worry about the my time of, of eight episodes? Look at that way I want to say about things for the finale because the finale that damn what we're talking about the most. But um, what the so I the first shot. So I want to put the plot of a silk up to um. Born in Jenner, so great time, let's get an emerging threat to a vulnerable galaxy. I can do a train of grand or flying. Yep, and that would be the point of the show. Alright, the point of the show, look, as you well know, though, I love a silver. So, I want to be a kid, I have to go out a little kid. I love this kid going out a little kid back into the gun, she's a big kid. Yep, come on, I can see you start annoying, but that was the point. She was going out after the bed from a master and his caliber. And during that coin was so, during the coin, Johnny, and during that show, we should go into development from season one. All the way up to season 7 finale, and she had a great arc. I love her in that show. That show back in my Toy Story perfection. It was a great cat, I love a kid. Then she appeared in level. Level was cool. Yay! She was trying to show her trying to level. It was awesome, and she confirmed her form as a beta. Pretty cool. But then at least she survived somehow in level, and I'm like, ha okay, she, she survived in the whole, um, world between world stuff. I know it could be easy would be. And now we're here at the like, end today in, um, 23, to her own show. And when they show an accent of how I love his kid. That's the one in all eight episodes from the good. The extra one, ah, this show is a mixed bag, I'm sorry. This is felt like all over the place. I'm not joking. It's a thing like the only from a plot perspective. It's really kind of disappointing. Like, all the episodes, all the birds are getting more fun. When we get, there could be no guy of a quality and I'll go down that real fast. Speaking of stuff, um, you know what? Fuck it, let's cut that shit. Um, what time is everyone? Everyone wants to match that plan. Bomb plan is getting new, but cousin is a chef and Andrew, we need to find it. Okay, Ahsoka and Sabine. Which, okay, it's now that we're fans, you know who Sabine is? She is a comic game character. She's basically a poor Mandalorian who wants to help Ahsoka on levels, and it's up to them to find Ezra. Who's Ezra about that? He's on level. Yeah, it's very much about plot perspective. All this is is a season five for levels. I'm not kidding. This show all is it is, it is a levels continuing and not a soccer show. In fact, in fact, from a plot perspective, it's not really a soccer show. It's more of a level show, but with soccer that that the main character, not the main character. It's like a PD. Like, this should just you call, call level season five. Wait, like, it's a bit like a soccer blood in the entire show. I'm not kidding. For all the episodes, she just jams into the finale, and that's about it. Well, I think we're gonna have to five. I'm gonna buy it in my paper. Okay, I'm just gonna wear it. But apart from the ones that are too concerned, they were fine. They were fine episodes, but they were not fair episodes. Well, you know what? They were slow, so start. But I, I, I think I did the video pretty good. For me, I think that they didn't have their new part part of what's going to be when the boys didn't plan. I don't know how many episodes where I got dropped off. And then I got bored, so I did not know that they were the two um, Sith characters, um, Baylin and Jonathan, and the other character. I began it, you know, so I'm going to remember you. So I think the cat did a good job. Um, and very sad that we lost, but that other one, uh, Ray Stevens had a dark Jedi. He played a great villain. Ray Stevens had a dark Jedi, Chef Kiss, great casting. He was my favorite character of all of you, a great villain. Bad, awesome, so good, but it breaks my heart that we're never going to see this junior return to Canada. And we had the F2A and they had the word to question because, wait, what? Wait, what were you playing again? Why won't Fun Grammar Fun? I felt kind of confused about that, and honestly, we didn't know what movie it was until episode 7 and 8. In fact, 8 is when I pulled apart me. You know what? Fuck it, let's get it shit. If I talk more of this, I won't get the juice do this stuff. So, Please don't get spoilers. Spoiler, big spoiler. I need to talk about it. It's good job. I mean, insane what I'm talking about. So, we're going to skip it. So, I'm going to If I don't talk about spoilers, I'm going to be mad. And I want to talk about it. 
So, who don't be nice initially. Tune up now. I need to talk about this. Go drop me insane. But don't talk about it. Yeah, go drop me nuts. So I need to talk about it. Okay. But in the entire show, in general, I'm still going to try to see how to how to deal with the force. Now you're probably wondering why we're still going to try to see with the force. May or may not die, you know, that Sabine would never fall for Sandy. She acted with more of a Mandalorian. That's what made her to bring up, but she did not force it instead of a jazz with a Mandalorian. That's what made her character great. But this show is, yeah, fuck that. We're, 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 instead of doing that, after that Sabine did a bit of a Mandalorian, we're going to be more like for Sandy now. I have one question about that. Why? Why is Sabine a man? Why is Sabine be a Jedi actor now? Like, that's a bad idea. I, well, in, no, it, no, it's not, it's not because you know, I've never get to be a Jedi kid. No, for me, I was to be. So you know I was a bad kid. But making her into a kind of Jedi, Jedi now, similar to Edra, just isn't a very bad idea at all. And just, the way we're so A went with, with a full body, now she's able to be the force now, feels random. And this feels kind of out of play. Wait, 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 what? Seriously? Now you're gonna make her Jedi now? That just sounds like a really bad idea. I'm, I'm from an Ezra. Ezra made sense. Uh, Ahsoka made sense. But Sabine? No! No! She's a Mandalorian for God's sake! Uh, her, her, her weapon is... I think I'm training her to be a man, Mandalorian and a far better trait for her than being a Jedi. I, I want her to be more, more to the world with a Mandalorian than one of these four powers. Where does it be a, a Mandalorian? That's what I ask. Oh, who am I kidding? I forgot. At this point, you know, we're, we're going to fall, fall, but again, everyone, enemy will be there at this point, you know, and you know what? Fine. From a world perspective, I get on you, but not every person can be a Jedi or a Sith, or a Dark Jedi, or White Jedi. You get my point. I just feel like this, this feels random, and this feels really bad idea. And I just don't know how to feel that. And the way I'm doing how she gets her for bad now, she knows that you put her and to get a uh, lightsaber away from his um well get the lightsaber uh, when she's dying when it's death trooper I mean it's actually death trooper it's zombie trooper that just can't show it's get weird to go back I, I just don't know how to feel with that by the way you're probably wondering why I'm not talking about Grandma Fawn he got Grandma Fawn Grandma Fawn is still with my man I remember man he put a great Grandma Fawn back to you Grandma Fawn was double and I love with his actor so I think it was awesome love action so to Grandma Fawn fan You'll be happy to see love action, that'd be awesome. Let me know if you want to try to show. She can get him up for and find love action, that's awesome. And now I know that he's free to come to the galaxy, because then too, but it will all um to Sabine getting the, the map to the Dark Jedi. Now, you know, because I get him up for an escape, which he did escape in episode 8. Yeah, spoiler, I need to talk about it. And we'll see now, now because um, get him up for free to come to the galaxy. You probably want to have the Ezra about that. Well, we're going to have the Ezra in um, episode yeah, episode six, episode seven. You probably figure what happened to him, and apparently he's been on this planet for well decades, and well, can that decades since um in twenty years since Earth has turned Jedi, he's been trying to play Game of Thrones for years. How did um Ezra survive survive all, all these years anywhere without food or water? Well. He made up funny idea on this planet as he did well with these alien turtle guys. I'm not kidding. It is usually like weird and I don't really understand how fuck that he's about all these years um, with these turtle guys. Like, when he started that with no food, I don't get it. it re- I, I don't get it! I just don't want the answer we got from the season. It's very confusing. Yeah, I'm not kidding. They, they say that it's a season finale, not series finale. So, we can make a season two. But the way they go at season two doesn't make any sense. So, where the fuck are they going with this story? And the way the story ended, this felt like disappointment. Like, what? Did I end the season with Grandma Flying escaping? And now, Ahsoka and, um, um Sabine are now traveling the planet. And now, I don't think get the. Go, go away, but he escapes uh, with Game of Thrones, and now Ahsoka and Sabine are trying to, to do something. Oh yeah, you're probably wondering, what, what was Game of Thrones playing about that? What was his grand plan? His plan is to use zombie troopers. No, seriously. Thanks to the Night Sisters, uh, playing the three Night Sisters series. 
Apparently, the next day, I'm not gonna fly any footage of you that is like Sister Magic to pity uh, an army of zombie, zombie troopers. Wait, what? That's how Grandma flying went here with the galaxy? You zomb a zombie army? Okay, but give me a computer, but the Grandma flying that I knew and go back to with a tactician and military ability expert. Not an idiot. Control a zombie just seems a very bad idea. That's not flying to us in the flying knew. The flying knew was all smarter than this. This? This is a very bad idea like a blob, blob in, in your face. Which, again, that seems like this plan is not going to work to get a blob in the face. Oh yeah, by the end of the season, I'm paying a grandma for a skate now in, in Dabomir. And now it's up to New Republic. And bidding a new entry book, um, Hela and um, Ezra to figure out how to get um, Ahsoka back. We'll get Ahsoka and um, Zabine back and the plants. And we'll get there and then they're going to figure out how to start flying. That's the scene ended. Wow. What a disappointing finale to it after this scene has been a lot Yeah, I, 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 I gotta be honest with you guys. This scene has so potential, but it, it's so much a kind of mediocrity. I hate saying that. This show should have been a major show to be a dunk. But that finale? We flew everything out the window and just went, fuck it. We're gonna fly in the window and let the story ready to get to the grand ending. And now I'm gonna find enough way to do is master plan. Which I don't think this plan is gonna work out the way Grandma Fun thinks. Which is frustrating. I mean, Grandma Fun is almost a uh, bad and awesome villain. This Grandma Fun just seems to make him an idiot. But frustrating me. We love Grandma Fun. He's a good villain. I love his character. He's my favorite star villain and star who's not for Santa Fe Bowman, a Imperial Billy um, Asshole. Yeah, but you know, he's almost smarter than this. Like, I just don't know what's going on with my phone story and I'm just pushing me. And a phone fan, it makes me, me angry. Oh yeah. Speaking of that, uh, after this part cameos, um, I need to tell episode 5, I need to tell Shadow Warriors, so we shall worry about it with a lot of questions, and you'll know what with me. Most of you get out, and you already have to open the camera, and that was that more interesting. Wait, well, my about to add it? Well, we got out there, you pretty surprised. Spoiler it, Hey, you quickly got an ending skywalker. Yay! I was so happy about that. Two reasons. One, I was hearing Christian and that kind of thing as he's been on the way. Two, I didn't hear Christian and Scott would have been that and see him in the again, see him in this show, and Anakin again, and see him in the in Clone Wars or, or, or uniform. It was so cool. It was going to make me happy because, damn it, that was so cool. I think I'm going to love that in Clone Wars show now. I'm not kidding. I would take a lot of Clone Wars show now. And see Chrome with again live action? And that would be awesome idea if he made it. Like, thank you, Dave Boy. Thank you, give me a Chrome with after live action show for only five, for five seconds. Only did five minutes. And I was so happy. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We, uh, we also got another camera created from, um, Rebel, um, Kanan and his son. From Hela. Well, Kanan's son. Kanan and Hela's son. Who also apparently. Well, then it's going to be Kanan with the Jedi Knight, so. I, I wouldn't dare to accept that he can't send it and full power if that makes sense. But Sabine, so not so much. But no, 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 no. If that, that, that freaking generation of people, no, for me, for me, I'm, I'm a full, I'm a full female, I have a full power. Like, that's been passed on over decades. Like, I'm not proud of that. The only problem, you know, John, is more, well, not more, well, um, Sabine so has to full power. It's, it's just the way her unique is being a man of oil. But she's frustrated, it made me angry, because what the fuck, wait, oh, you didn't, she didn't mean, mean a Jedi. I just don't like that. But I didn't that they didn't even talk about Oh yeah, I don't you know what? Fuck it, let's go to the finale. Yeah, that was different for it. Before. The finale but and the general grandma for escaping with um Ezra and now being a free idea when the planet and now uh, Ahsoka and um Sabine are now trying to plan it to do something. And now they're gonna to figure out how uh, to st stop well fun is gone. So, missing the company? I don't know. The, the finale just felt like a rush job and just felt competing. It went all for nothing. Fawn escaped and now he's going to tell the New Republic. So, but he, the mission failed. But he, he may have worked at Ezra, but it came at a big cost. So, the guy got fucked. Good job, actually, everybody. Great job, you guys. All heroes. Oh yeah, I for I forgot. Um, you probably wondering why I'm not the true Jedi. 
Yeah, the thing. The two dogs that I made for that that were made that plan. Said, wait, wait, no way. In fact, that plan that I kind of went on all play, and I don't know what, what the end game was. We didn't know what the plan was to make the end. So it was all but fucking nothing. Fawn escaped, and now we're pretty screwed. I think I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna tell me this. I'm gonna tell me what you want in this way today. Oh yeah, the fight scene. The fight scene is pretty cool. The like here about pretty obviously oh, badass. The fight scene was made by the fight scene was really cool. I'm gonna find you guys show. The fight scene was made in the old perfection and a plot. They're all great. But, um, I didn't that. They didn't talk about it. I got anything to say. After the new public, new public could be an idiot. I'm sorry. I don't. Like new, but new power, I just stop it. What the? Why are you making new power only comment? I don't get it. Oh wait, I know why. I know why I make new power only comment. But I could be a steam over against the, the first order. That's secret trade. You're fucking everything up. Great, fucking wonderful. Oh yeah, I forgot. The, um, the dog, the two dogs. Yeah, apparently I think I want the dog today. Um. Play by um. Um. Yeah, apparently he found the, I think the two statues. And apparently these two sides are now connected to a force god named Azazoth. Who is Azazoth you about to ask? I don't know! Azazoth apparently is an EU character, but she's so complicated that even I can't explain this character. Some people feel like she's even the, the big bad for a star in the future. I, I don't see that happening because apparently that's so complicated that it looks like brain. But these Disney stars. Do you really think they're going to make that story after you make that story make sense? No. They were always stupid by that story to play it make no fucking sense. I don't see Azazov as a big bad. I'm sorry. I don't see him doing it. If I'm wrong and we do see Azazov at the end of the Lion Stars show or movie, fine, I'll be out wrong and I'll be out to make a cool idea. But I don't really understand when Azazov in a in a um, day for a movie, if that didn't make it, that didn't make any sense. Who knows? We we we, we won't we won't know if we get seen two or not. I'm a big if we do get seen two. But other than that, they ain't gonna tell anything to say. In fact, that's not part of the show. It did, it's over time. I just thought it was disappointing. But and 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 I don't want to talk to Mr. Boy. I think it. Oh, but to Mr. Boy. Oh yeah, I have the cat. The guy did good job. Uh, I think I think the guy done did a good job. So good. I think the actor did um so he did a good job. But hey, yeah, the, the young actor who played Shogun in um in the, the Five of the Conquerors, she was amazing. She did a good job. All the guys did a good job. He did any kind of did a good job, but all the guys did a good job. I gave a plus. Kind of great. Did a good job. It's just the writing of it all falls apart and gets me disappointed. But overall, though, is it the worst story show? Hell no! This thing was not a trend. Okay, this thing was this thing was disappointing, but it wasn't horrible or like, or, or bad like other people were saying. Like, no, no, this wasn't bad. Like, no, this is one of the worst stories. Like, fuck you! This show wasn't a trend and horrible. It was just disappointing. And that's why I got this is one show. It's now I've been worst story should ever. But if you don't want worse, watch why Scott won't get back to me. That's that movie's horrible. Fuck why Scott won't that movie's trash. And the secret is always better. I mean, you know what? The people I see you do find out more about the people I see you do, I just can't stand the movie, I'm sorry. But, um, I think that they didn't talk about. I think it's probably, oh no, I'm a little ready. Oh no, um, we know what I said. What did you give, um, Ahsoka, um, season one, all the episodes? I give this one with a two out five stars. Remember, guys, I'm so compared. This just felt so disappointing. And I think I did, I'm scared of, 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 the, of Star Wars. He was a disappointing show, and I'm more worried about the few. Okay, the few stars I made, and I made that's another can one. So I don't want to talk about that shit because it's not worth the time. But the few stars is very, very quite over these days. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe season two would then get better. Again, bigger season two would get better at the beginning. But other than that, it's all. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably come when we get there. But uh, overall, this show was just meh. Disappointed at best. It was a disappointing show, and that's all I got. Is it the worst Star Show ever? Hell no. This isn't horrible. This isn't a trinity. It's just disappointing. 
And uh, that's all I got. My hand was all. You know, you know, that's my review of Ahsoka season one, I think. I don't know. Um, please don't comment on TV in, 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 in the show. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I'm not sure if you're on Twitter. Please don't comment on my channel. Who does? Who is it about? Can I have some song story? Please don't comment on my channel. I'll go longer. It's still good. See ya. But it's still good. One more thing. One more thing. Um, what's your favorite story at the ending? I, I went to probably TV at the end story, so... Please go know um, what's your favorite story at the end of the movie, TV show, books, comics, video games. Please comment them all. I really want you guys to feedback on this one. I want you guys to talk uh, good story stuff or tell any positivities and negativity. Or critique you after you show the whole. Like, don't go full, but if you're a critter, like, like, eh, this show over there, like, don't do that. Please don't. Like, um, please go know what you guys know about the show. Um, with, with the part of the negatives. I want it down critiquing this one. Please go to the also go feed on Twitter and on the channel. And, um, I hope you have a good day. Well, Oh, good night, gentlemen, and I'm um, taking it. One good story. Oh, and what are you looking forward to on um, the next star show? Please come on, I'll tell you. Bye, 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 bye